This is the city. The city of Absalom. The city at the center of the world. Absalom is celebrating the Radiant Festival, a three-month festival of epic proportions held once every hundred years. The celebration attracts all types. Tourists, performers, merchants, inventors, as well as unsavory types, petty thieves, gangs, cults, and criminal enterprises. That's where we come in. We protect and serve. We are the agents of Edgewatch. Last we left off, you managed to stop Franska. You managed to take her down after a long, drawn-out fight that seemed to go on and on and on. But eventually, eventually, the Dice Gods blessed you with some blessings. And you managed to hit her and take her down. And then you're like, okay, give up the bomb. Where is the bomb? And you found out the bomb was not on her. So then you ran outside. And sure enough, it's time to call out the bomb squad because there he is, the champion, Ogrim the Merciless, who has a bomb-like contraption on his back, covered in clockworks, spewing out poisonous smoke, and it looks like he is ready to kill everyone and everything. And yeah... Now, let me, let me give you a little bit of background on this. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on how these things work. Because there's, there's this thing in Paizo. So, all these encounters, they're labeled anything from trivial to medium to, oh, I don't know. We'll say severe. So, severe is an encounter that's so hard that you're only supposed to put a small handful of severe encounters throughout the entire length of an adventure path because they are so hard. And you only see severe maybe once or twice, maybe at most per book, and only less than a dozen times throughout 1 to 20. Now, believe it or not, there actually is something above severe. And remember those things you fought and, like, destroyed you? At the beginning of this adventure, uh, beginning of this like part in the Coliseum, that was a severe encounter. There is something above severe. It's called extreme. Now, extreme is you are going to die unless you are really, really, really good. So, extreme is not supposed to be in any adventure path ever because it is basically death. This is an extreme encounter. So, with that in mind. Everyone has two hero points because I Uh-oh. felt bad. Because, damn, I even was talking to Mark about this, about Mark Seifter. He's like, I said, oh, they're in the they're in the bomb squad. And he wrote back and wrote, oi. He says, that's that's a rough one. <laughs> I was like, okay. I might, I might have to help you out a little on this one. At least, at least not outright, but at least give you at least two uh two points so at least you do can use one on a reroll and one when you're about to die and i also gave you a whole bunch of links for helpful notes on things like i don't know disabled device or destroying things or surviving poison because it looks like there's a poison coming out and last time i believe basil figured out that this black finger blight is so bad that it's nearly death if you uh, breathe it in. Anyhow, what were you saying, Chris? You were wondering if you have any antidotes? Yes. Yes, you have two greater antidotes, which will give you a plus four on your saves against poison for the next six hours. However, you have two majors, and that will also give you a plus four, but as soon as you drink it, you get to take a saving throw against a poison of your choice right away and as soon as you drink it and make the successful saving throw even if it's at stage 20 okay there's no stage 20 even if it's at stage 40 it immediately goes away and disappears and you're completely cured of it so you got to figure out who's going to get the majors and who's going to get the greater i'll let you do this now 
that you figured you well, see what's, I mean, what you're up against. It seems like the majors we sh- should almost wait until someone until actually someone gets poisoned. Yeah, but it it, it comes down to carrying it too. Um, melee will need antidotes. That's for sure. Yes. I mean, I don't even see uh, yeah Jason I, I, or uh, I mean. My plan is to take to the air and fly above everything and do and be at extreme range and so never be in that cloud at all. So I should so going along with that strategy, I should have whatever the weakest is. Wow, that major's worth six hundred and seventy five gold. Damn. Maybe we oh, should we keep should it. Save it. Well, yeah. it. <laughs> well, you can't. You we can't. go to the market. <laughs> you can't sell it when you're dead. That's all I'm gonna say. Bro, you can't take it with you. Uh well, in this world, you can because there is raised dead. But you know, in theory, you right. can take it with you. Okay, so what are the two? Uh, all right, so the majors are in, in, in instant. You you have to make a saving throw regardless, right? For, well, yeah. For so both so of this these is all antidotes. that happens. Every single time you're exposed to a poison, you make a saving throw. Ugh. Okay. And remember, this happened to you last time. Remember, John, and you kept missing. And so the way it works is that like. Let's say you get exposed, okay? And you have to make a saving throw. If you f- if you make the saving throw, then you are no longer exposed to the poison. Nothing happens. If you fail the saving throw, you make it to stage one. And then it, let's just say it's one round. So then the next round, you have to make another saving throw. If you fail it, you go to stage two. If you yeah, critically it, fail, you go down to stage two. It, it gets three. bad, but the question that uh, is more relevant is if I make uh, my saving throw, okay? Yes. And I'm in this cloud. Yes. A, a round goes by, I have to make another saving throw. Right? Yeah, yes. not only that, it gets worse. Okay. According yeah. to this, this this black finger blight is virulent, which means that you have to succeed at two consecutive saves to reduce the virulence stage by one. So if you are at stage two and you succeed the saving throw, you just stay at stage two. And then the next round, if you succeed, then you go to stage one. So this, once you get it, it's very, very hard to get rid of. All right. So um, Dougie's going to take one of the uh, six hour things. Well, they're both six hours. All right. So I so, thought we had so, four. Is it yeah, two, two or four? Two greater and two, two, two are major. Two greater and two major. The All greaters right. are six hours and give you a plus four. The majors are six hours, give you a plus four, and will immediately neutralize the poison once you drink it. Do they all last six hours? Yes. Yes. Oh, so so I think I think the but strategy they don't here is the two you and I take the two major ones and we hold them. We don't drink them yet. The other you uh, uh, Basil and Gomez uh, drink the other two ones now and get that plus four going. Because it's, it's it doesn't stack or anything, so so we hold. All right, that's for, that, that so, works. For so me. we hold on to these until we get poisoned, and then we drink them and they get that. Because otherwise, it's just the same as the other one. It does it, it does not help you. It, it, like the the difference is yeah, but, the reason yeah. why it's five hundred gold pieces more is that if you get poisoned, like let's say you roll a one, now you can drink it and get rid of that poison immediately instead of having to do that two save thing. So, I mean, you uh, go in, you sort of take your chances, maybe use a couple hero points, and then, and then yeah. eventually when you get poisoned, then drink it. I think that's And it, it takes a turn to... No, no. Well, yeah, but then you have to sheathe your weapons. At least I don't my, have weapons, so I'm, I'm drinking mine my, my, I'm, I'm right now. There's there's no point in not doing it, because drinking potions is so freaking ridiculous. All right, well, which system. one are you going to drink then? Because it doesn't... You're gonna drink, well, it does matter, because the major is big it's a big deal if you use it like yeah i, I would give that if you're going to drink yours now then you get you get one of the, the, the other yeah one. then you should so get there's no greater. difference yeah. yeah you get a greater if you're going to drink if it, it doesn't really matter i don't care is the saving time. throw bonus the same for both yes. yeah okay exactly then yeah the i'll take the major okay drink gone all right so i'm gonna say let me just zoom in on this gargantuan battle map yeah I guess when you program the plus I'm two looking at, i'm looking at my spells and i'm tapped Oh no! Uh, oh, don't tell I, me that. I have, yeah, fifth and sixth are out. I only have like two fourth level left, one third level. I don't know. I, I got, there's not a lot going on here. Um, and Do you it's have also gust problematic. Of wind? It's also problematic because I, I my plan was to stay out of range, uh, but even extending my spell, I kind of have to be within sixty feet of the action, which is too close. <laughs> That's too close for me. So I don't know. 
yeah uh, this is this is gonna be rough this is gonna be rough i'm not gonna i don't know how much my health i'm gonna be it makes me wonder if i should if i should take i don't know should i take one of the one of the big ones and kind of be first aid like if like if somebody drops like dive in and administer it depends on you know honestly yes. i i we're know. gonna miss our saving throws at the beginning and drop, and you you might not need that healing. <laughs> and then I, and then I'll go into the but then on the other side I'll yeah. like, I'll go into the radius and then I'll drop. <laughs> well, I know Basil's gonna be our damage dealer with that bow and arrow. That is that is. I don't know about that either because I bet you this thing gives cover and concealment. Oh god! Except I have blind right. fight. So oh yeah. Oh, oh on, on that on that note. Uh, <laughs> It is a bit of cover uh, going to help anybody in this fight? Because because uh, I got a feather token, and this is actually a situation where it can be used. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's strategically viable though. I have, um, I have I have the feather token tree. I can plant a tree in the middle of the, the middle of the the, the, the <laughs> ground here. I get a sixty foot tree in the middle of the action. If like getting up in a tree makes sense, or if like hiding behind a tree to give cover uh, makes sense, or anything like that. I, so yeah, I just want to throw yeah, that out. There. I don't know. It's it couldn't hurt. Don't no, don't think so. I, I I'm running up to the whoever it is. So well, you know what? Uh, actually, here let me. me. Uh, Lomen, you yes. have free hands no matter what. So yes. I'm going to give you the feather token tree. Okay. That you just you have it now, and if it, like because you never know, some situation might occur. You know that's right. And I'll have the feather token tree in one hand, and I guess the the major yeah, uh, something, antidote something, in the something other. Crazy, hand. like like somebody drops, and you have to get them. You have to get them out of the cloud, and being sixty feet up in a tree will put them out of the cloud, and you plant it underneath them. You know, like and it's something crazy like that might might make sense. That's true. Okay, so I have it here, and let's describe it again. You're in the arena, and it's actual size. I actually made it five. 100 feet <laughs> couldn't do this in person 500 feet across and oh, i don't even know i mean the real arena is 2000 feet high or no it's 1000 it's 1000 feet high so i'll give you half the arena because whatever he is kind of in the middle of the arena and he's flanked by two of those lizard men that you've been fighting like all this time there's also this very confused hill giant that's like about 100 feet sorry northwest of him you're like what the hell he's like seems to be a little confused and once again they announced that um Ogvarium, the merciless and his two lizardmen companions were supposed to fight this hill giant and this was supposed to be some big battle and then he decided to reveal his contraption of tubes gears and a large glass cylinder filled with a churning purple liquid strapped to the back and then the monstrous warrior addresses the shocked crowd, roaring, People of Absalon, your time of reckoning is at hand. Die! Die in agony! And with that, a thick bloom of purple smoke pours from the device, enshrouding the warriors and billowing towards the onlookers in the stands. So those stands around you are filled with people. They have no idea what's going on. You managed to run out from the side entrance and now are now, I don't know, about 50 feet into the arena. He's about 220 feet away from you. The hill giant is another like 100-ish feet away from the champion. And I have not started combat yet. I'm letting you sort of do this little prep. Um, nothing too crazy, but... How, uh, how many feet are each one of these boxes? Five feet. Okay. Yeah, this this map is as big as I think you can make it without crashing roll 20. So, in fact, I will give you one more advantage, is that I will start the combat, so we'll see where people start up. Here we go. Roll for combat! Oh, no, that ain't good. Look who goes first! Oh! <laughs> At least I'm not last. Oh, Ogarium the Merciless. Wow, he only rolled a 12 on initiative, but when you got a plus 25, you end up oh at 37. Wah, wah. Then Doggy, then Tundra, then Lomang, then Brave Buckshwack, the hill giant, then Rova, then Basil, then Gomez, and then Poison Cloud. 
Poison Cloud gets its own initiative. That will be interesting. Um, I will not start battle yet. Let you play in a little bit more. Quick now question. Now you know what's going on. How do I draw the distance thing again? I keep forgetting. Oh, there is, um, there's like, it looks like a little clock. Oh, clock the, on the ruler thing clock. or whatever? It's a clock on the, the ruler. The upside down Q. Okay. All right, I'm just trying to get some, an idea of the distances here. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna be completely away. different place. So All right. by the time it's your turn, do we do we have to, well again? Like, this prep time. Do we have time to cast spells or give items? Oh, you got plenty of time. They got to get over to us. Um, well, it's a combination of what are you trying to do? Because it's I put it this way: if you're trying to spend a minute of spells, no. If you want to spend like you know, I'll give you like a round or two. Oh. All right. Well, I give Lomang the tree. And, Fair uh, enough. My, and my thought is, do I want to haste somebody now? I have one haste left. Uh, you, you might want to do that. Although we may need a lot of healing. Well, the, uh, yeah, yeah that's, it's, it's, I'm going to burn through all the scrolls. I mean, the healing is pretty much done. You know, my spell healing is pretty much done. I don't I would like need haste. it. I mean, my attacks, those extra attacks. Actually. But it's like, it's also extra bonus running speed. This, oh, I, you know I I would probably need. Uh, well, well, man, you don't need speed. Well, a few things. That's what that, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking Dougie just to just to have him keep up with Loman. Yeah, so he coordinate yeah. and move fast. I move fifty. That's my speed. Ooh. That's well, double let's, my let's, speed. Let's go over a few things. First of all, treat disease um, takes one action. Treat disease or poison? Sorry, treat poison takes one action. And it's just a medicine check. Um, and then if you succeed, they get a plus two or plus four. And that would stack, I think. Does that stack on? Actually, let me see. That's a circumference. Circumference. Circumstance bonus. And what type of bonus? Oh, item bonus. They stack. Because one's an item bonus. One's a circumstance bonus. So you could get a plus eight on the save if you're lucky. And disable device is two actions if someone wants to disable the device. Or you can just punch it <laughs> or break it if you want. Um, that's assuming if you go after the device. Now, the guy holding it, I showed you the picture of him because he's 10 feet tall mm. and has an axe that's also 10 feet tall. So he looks he looks a little big. And he single-handedly beat those four things that almost killed all of you. So perspective oh you know what you should uh use your charisma to rally him to the cause um oh absolutely that's, uh, that's, Gomez. That's, oh absolutely that, that absolutely. is the hill giant yeah do you that have audible uh can you augment your voice somehow uh i would, I, would, I, would, I fly over to him and yell like, i don't, i don't think i have anything that i can booming voice okay megaphone i don't think i have a megaphone spell there actually is a spell like that and in the other podcasts they have it <laughs> message is it message no I mean, it's a thing nah, that it's lets like you a megaphone. it's actually a, it's actually um a ringmaster staff and it has the ability that you can clearly be whole, be heard within 500 feet and there's a spell that lets you do it as well it's like a built-in it's like a built-in megaphone mic it's a spell we, we need that for crowd control that's exactly what that's what it's used for it's used we need air deal. bubble more than we need that right now uh, that's yeah. true you need um you need to disintegrate. <laughs> that would work pretty well too. You so. need a sphere of annihilation. Is all we need. Damn. Well, I think that's how we survive this. So, do I want to haste somebody? It, it gives you an extra strike or stride action. So, yes. my thoughts off the top of my head are Dougie, so he can stride and kind of keep pace with Lomang, or um, Jason's guy to have mobility and shoot. Yeah, well, either one. I mean, I think how probably fast ba- do you fly? That's Gomez. a good question. Let's see. Because you have to go the furthest. We'll probably have to take out the ads. We'll have uh, to fly take... speed equal to my speed. Ooh. But if you have long strider, oof, that's a nice but... thing. You do have long strider. You already cast it. Right. So you're super fast already. That was you're faster like, than I am. It's like 55 or something. Okay, that's good. You should probably give it to me. I'm, I'm going to be in melee. I might be able to run away. All right, I'm going to say I, I'm going to have done that. I did that. So, yeah. All right. So Dougie, so Dougie has haste. Press the button just so I have a record of it in case I forget. We scroll way over from the monster to where I am now. So you're giving Dougie haste. Right. There we yeah. go. I gave you the little bunny rabbit. That's the little bunny rabbit of haste. Okay, Dougie. Dougie's stacking it up. Dougie. Happy. 
Dougie. He's got the haste rabbit on him. He's chugging the potions. He's like, you're like getting ready for battle, Dougie. Dougie's like, oh baby, oh baby. It's like the, it's like the, uh, what is it called? My blades are ready. It's like the scenes in like Rambo. It's the scene where like you're putting all the gear on and you're getting oh, yeah. ready for combat. Commando. It's, it's Commando. the training. Yeah, the training, training sequence. sequence. <laughs> yeah, training sequence. Here you go. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lomang is just like flexing his fist. Lomang, don't forget you. you I put it in the plus two. Oh, yeah, the plus two hand wraps. Greater striking. Yes, yes. So we'll get to see you first time ever. I no one in any podcast has plus two, let alone greater striking anything. That's so awesome. We'll see. We'll see what it does. You're more than halfway to the best you can be, which is plus three superior strike. I don't even know what it is. I, Ooh, think, I want I don't that. Even, I don't and even I know want what's it, after I want it to be on fire to on flames. Yeah, well, you can do that too. I know. I'm gonna. Well, see. you have lightning. You got lightning and thunder. I do have thunder and lightning. It's Sonic and thunder. Yeah, I mean, Sonic's Sonic, actually, Sonic and Sonic and yeah, like, Sonic is actually excellent because it is so rare. It's in this rare game. that you think can defend it. Yeah, it's it's very good. Is is Ogrum carrying anything yes. noteworthy? And he's axe, got a backpack, and he's got. I showed you the picture. He has an axe the size of a tree, okay. and he is he has the backpack on that is spewing um crap. Oh, actually, oh, mistake, mistake. I found the mistake. He is not carrying the axe. Yeah, I don't though, see any axe at all. I like, know, he's even just... though the artwork shows him with a axe the size of a tree, this must have been edited out because before they were like, you know what? This encounter's too hard with him with the axe. So instead of it making a greater, making a greater extreme. We'll take out the axe and it's just extreme. So there's only a 90% chance you'll die instead of a 95% chance. So, so, he, so he doesn't have claws. an axe? That's it. Okay. Dozen claws. That's okay. It. And he's got the, and this thing is just sort of spewing out this stuff on its own. Yep. And it, is it, is it causing, is it giving him concealment? Yep. Ugh, that's a problem. And so like if we, let's say in theory, if we were standing right next to him, he would not get that concealment, right? Yep. Okay, and he and it wouldn't. We wouldn't get it either. And clearly and obviously, he's immune to poison. God, I was so close to taking he's blind fight. Uh, yeah, but he's not immune. He's, I was under the impression breath, lizard people yeah. have a ancestry ability that lets them hold their breath for a long time, so yeah. it's not complete immunity. They're not. Oh my immune. God! Let's hear it. I can hold my breath for a, a long, long time. time. <laughs> twenty minutes. They can hold their breath for twenty minutes. But that means he can't true. use his bite attack. Maybe. Interesting. I don't know about that. Huh. Uh, well, he can still use his claws. <laughs> so you can open your mouth and not yeah, you breathe. Can. On the other yeah. hand, I'd like open. to think that fighting would actually exert him and maybe yeah, the exertion would force you to breathe pretty much. So, like if you're moving your chest, if you're moving your chest muscles, they'll they'll contract your yeah. lungs. But that's really well, you know what? Monster, so. You know what? I actually disagree because think about fish, or you know, like you know, think about all the whales and stuff, and they go underwater holding their breath, and they still eat and fight and do all that stuff. And, well, they, and, yeah, and they breathe through their mouth. So. And he's a monster. He, he's, they breathe through the blowhole. Yeah, he, he has, and, and you know what? Unorthodox physiology. I, I, I have a word for you. It's magic. There, There's it's the magic. there's your answer. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> it's magic. It's fantasy. It's fantasy. The wonderful world of illusion. Hey. Internal control techniques. You know, I met Doug Henning. I have internal control techniques. Now, that's another advantage, because I'm a master in my fortitude save, and every success that I make is a critical success. You know Jeez. what? You're going to goddamn need it, because guess what? That. Guess what? That means the virulent doesn't affect you. In fact, you right. will go right up. You are the man with the plan. You right. are the one that has to go into that cloud. I know. That's why I'm thinking the haste would be good on me. God. But Dougie's going to drop. Maybe. Like a, maybe Dougie maybe is going to be dropping be. first again in this fight. There's just, I'm forever. looking at my abilities. Might be forever. Oh, my good, God. Good thing I there's don't... a lot of people in the force. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Can, can we next stop, change next that? Next to line. I'm, I'm, I'm making yes. me agree that actually, yes. Lo, that actually can, Loman I, is person for the haste. Because this fight is so hard, and to be honest, the point is not to punish you. It's to challenge you. If you wish to change it, no problem with that. Whoop. Buddy Rabbit is now on Lomang. Lomang, like you have the speed of a jackrabbit. I like but it. I do Jack know, Rabbit's I do know, slim. our mission is not 
to defeat him. Our mission is to disable device. Right. The I'm going to I'm going to try and do that right off the bat. I'm, I'm actually going to have like I'm, that's I, that's that's the victory condition. Like, like I have like, the I think tree, beating him is impossible. The tree is tucked in my bandolier. I have in, I don't know how many hands it takes to operate a uh, thieves tools, but it doesn't really like I'm not clear on that. Maybe is it two? I don't know. Uh, actually, it says here, disable device. You have thieves tools and thieves tools. Um, it used two hands. It actually and I'm pretty sure I got hers, hands. like the better ones, right? Didn't I yeah, get you hers? did. But it uses yeah. two hands. So okay. You, you so I the, so I have the the antidote and the the uh, I have the antidote and the tree in my bandolier, and I'm holding the thieves tools right now in one hand right now currently. Okay, looking a feather token. Tree, surprisingly, the most useful feather token of all. <laughs> is that what it says? Oh, no, I know it is. Uh, it doesn't say that. I just know it is because that thing comes in handy more than you can imagine. I, we've never seen it in action here. but well, it's you because we're always on the ground. It. Like, like it, 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 it has one flaw is that you do plant it in earth. So we've always been on a floor. Stone. <laughs> yeah. 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 City adventure. Yeah, but it's one action. You take it, you put it in an unoccupied patch of earth or soil. Which is this is, which is soil. One action. This is earth, right? This is right. earth. This here. is earth. Yeah. Then you activate it, which is also another action. So it's two actions. One action to plant it, one action to activate. And then instantly a sixty foot tall tree with a five foot wood trunk appears. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so trust me, that in the right circumstance. Could we put that under an opponent? Damage. Yeah, I was wondering. Well, how does that like, work? Like, can you, you would can, have can you, to literally? You go oh, definitely. Like, can you grab him? Like, can you run up to him, grab him, plant it underneath him, and both of you launch into the yes. air and isolate him? Definitely, a hundred percent can do that. All right, so I don't want to go all night with planning. So anything else anyone wants to do, real quick, I'll go around the horn. I'll do Gomez last since you're. Oh, are we are last. we allowed to like activate our one turn things like go into stance and all that stuff? No, because that you got to wait for combat. So stances okay. you can't do till combat. Oh, another um, thing to consider is uh, rather than disabling device initially, if you can sunder the straps and knock it off his back, and then you okay, can access so it. Back. I will tell you how it works because sunder does not exist in Pathfinder Second Edition. However, you can do item damage, and item damage is its own thing. So, items have their own armor class, their own saves, and everything else, depending on what the item is, completely separate from the person holding the item. You can attack it directly, even with spells, if you want. Now, the other thing is that items all have a hardness value, so you have to get past the hardness before you start damaging the item. And items are immune to critical hits. They're immune to precision damage, like sneak attack. And they have object immunities, Great. which are other things. Well, that's all items. All yeah. items all uh, that's what we want to tell the giant, to, 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 <laughs> to, to, to take that, that, that device out. Well, there's someone who's very good at that stuff, and that'd be Lomag. Lomag can punch the crap out of things. I can. And eventually, if you get it to half its hit points, it gets broken. Broken doesn't really do much. It's usually like if it's armor or weapons, whether or not it'll affect this mechanism, you don't know. But then, so if let's just say it has, I'm just using an example. If it has 50 hit points, you get it down to 25, then it's broken. Maybe it's not working as well. Maybe it's spewing less. Who knows? You get it down to zero, then it's gone. It stops. Yeah, actually, I think I, I think you're right. I think the I think I'm not that great a thief, and so my disabled device is not great. But my punching has one advantage: when I flurry, and if I hit both times, then I can combine the damage, and and to to overcome hardness. Mm -hmm. Like that's someone that's, figured out the secret of the monk. That's correct. Yeah, like the yeah. monk can do that. So like if you hit twice, that. like even yep. if the DR is twenty, like yep. I could I could conceivably do like between both hits like eighty or hundred. Yes. Like, yes. And so that's well, a lot there's of no it. you don't get to crit. So right, right. they're immune to bleed, death effects, disease, healing, mental, um, necro, non lethal, and poison, as well as doom, drain, fatigue, paralyzed, sick and unconscious. However, none of those mention things like sonic or lightning. Or so fire. That will, do, that will do, or fire. That will do full damage on it. Now, the other thing is, if you attack him with like a fireball, 
will that affect the item? And the answer is yes, it will affect the item separately. It gets its own saving throw. Well, here's a question. Ooh. Does it have its own reflex saving throw? Yes, it has its own I'd save... like to think an animate object doesn't have <laughs> a reflex because uh, electric its arc. Own. Yes, it has yeah, its yeah. own saving throw. I went through all this with Mark Seifter today because this is a very rare occasion. Um, usually you don't target things and they're just considered part of you. They took out Sunder completely because it was the most complained about item by far. Yeah. In Pathfinder, people hated it on both sides. The players hated it and GMs hated it, so it was removed. So the only time you can do that is you can do it to weapons, but it's very hard to do. But you could also do it to devices, and this is considered a device, not a weapon, not armor. Therefore, you can break it or destroy it. Hopefully, it just doesn't explode. In like a... Well, I can't <laughs> promise you that. I can't promise you what happens afterwards. I have a GM discretion question. Yes. Um, I was reading the rules for devise a stratagem and pursue a lead and all that stuff, and I was wondering if you were how you would feel about allowing the scope of my investigation of Franco Lawrence to encompass this guy as well, or if it's a t counts as a separate thing. It's okay because I it thought only... you re I thought you redid yours when you found out last session that now it's true. It would have only taken a minute to do it. I think so you I probably, redid think... it because you found out that he had it. I yeah. Think okay. That that, last that, session, uh, so. Yeah. If that was if I I probably would have. Or, I'm ninety percent sure you did, and if you didn't, it's fine. I, I'm pretty. I remember you saying you did it. So okay. Okay. That's so fine. Because we'll I, I think I would have probably wanted to, and it only takes would. a minute to do it. Yeah. Of course. I would. I would. I would. I would assume you did it, even if you didn't do it. So, and actually, there would still be a way to get it during battle, but he would have to attack me first because it's a reaction. Thing. Well, I don't think you're going to have any trouble with that in the near future. Can you do me a quick favor before we start? Also, is I don't think my um, hero lab is matches up with what you have in terms of potions. What what do I have potions wise? Uh, hold on, I'll look it up. Ooh, Mister A has a pretty good, uh, interesting idea. Oh no. Peanut gallery. No peanut gallery. What's the peanut gallery? Mr. A suggested putting the treat token into his backpack and deploying it and watching the and like the backpack gets carried up into the tree. It could, except it's not made of soil. That's true. It's not soil. Yeah. Okay. I have everyone's totals here. Um, Lomang, you have three lesser healings and one moderate healing. And you have two lesser misform elixirs as well. And that's it. Um, a lesser? How long does lesser misform last? I don't think very long. No, everyone else has. Uh, you had two lessers. You used all your. You had moderate too, but all your moderates. Are, wait here. I'll, I'll just give you know what. Here we go. I'm gonna give you the list here. Give us the whole list for everyone. The whole list for everything. Here we go. We need to pull out all the stops. Uh, yeah, you do. Dude, we need to pull out stops we didn't even bring. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right, so that's everything you have. Um, there's a necklace of fireballs Basil still has, there's sleep arrows, there's vine arrows, there's spider potions. Oh, and you put, didn't you put the two doses of the poison in your cane? I did. Oof, that's going to be bad. Um, <laughs> you have lesser antidotes. I didn't put the greater ones in. Potions of quickness. Lomang, you had potion of quickness, which I think gives you, I think it gives you haste. Um... So you could both have haste. Moderate alchemist fires, you got those. Dark vision, hydraulic push. There's a scroll of pest form. That's not going to do shit. Uh, scroll of grease. You got a scroll of hydraulic push you still haven't used. You got the wand of manifold missiles. Yeah. Hydraulic yeah. push Gomez has, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm and you got a ton of scrolls of heal. You still got two fifth levels, which is pretty good. You got think, three fourth levels. I think one has my name on it, though. No, that's the fourth level. That is your name on it. Look, it's in there. I already got it. I already listed it. Nice. Uh, what, wait, what's so let's check we should, the potion of quickness. We should figure that out. Did we, didn't we get rid of the wand? No, you never sold it. You kept it. Sold it. Potion of quickness gives you haste for one minute. So you want to hold on? You want to drink that, then? Who? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Ten rounds. How long does the haste spell last? Ten rounds. So I will retrocon that right before the battle, Lomang drinks his potion and Dougie gets haste cast on him by Gomez. Basil has his thing and his nasty oil. Gomez is That's a first-level wand of manifold missiles, right? Yes. 
Doesn't do a lot, but it does something. Um, all right, is, are you ready to start? Yes. So. Oh boy, here we go. Who's up first? Oh, oh rum. it's Ogrum. 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 I want to see that cloud shrink. I want to see what he's going to do. I got to read. I got to read. What is it doing? Gomez, Let's are you going to get that hill chart on our side or what? Oh, there's a lot to do. Yeah, so I'm going to... This one, there, here's my turn when it comes up. Uh, fly. My fly actually adds another 10 foot to my move, uh, my ability, my uh, elemental movement. Um, so I'll be moving at 65. And I'm going to fly within earshot of him and diplomatize him. I'm going to ask I'm going to make a request and, uh, and try to explain. And then that'll be my first turn. And then, uh, that gas after, will kill us all. Yeah, and then and then after that, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a a, a scroll of he, uh, whatever the highest level scroll of healing in my hand, and the and the staff in the other hand. Uh, or maybe or maybe actually not. I might actually have this wand of manifold missiles, and I might just start that shooting because that because that's just that's just additional damage every round. Uh, like, can I tar- target the backpack with the wand of magic missiles? Oh, yeah, totally. Yes. All right, that maybe is that. a great idea. Maybe, maybe yeah, so you probably that. won't go through its hardness, though. It's, uh, but, but force it's damage, though. It's no, force if damage. it does. Not only if it gets past its hardness, otherwise it's zero damage. Like if its hardness is ten, the magic does. Magic missile does nine. It does nothing. Uh, uh, okay, so a little bit of overthinking, but uh, first action: fly over to him, try to get the try to get the giant on our side, try to convince him to throw rocks at him. And uh, if he can, and uh, then next turn will be uh, air support. I'm just going to be flying around like a freaking jet fighter, blasting that backpack over and over and over again with everything I have. Did I use my orc ferocity today? I don't think so. I don't remember if I used it on that with that last fight. Okay, Ogvarium runs sixty feet to the east. It looks like he's charging the crowd, like, head first. He's done. That was his entire turn. Dougie, you're up! Oh. I was not expecting that. Oh, I, I have lost my... Oh, wait, my... sorry. The bomb uses... Okay, so after... Sorry, actually, the bomb goes after him. So after he goes... Let me back up. So he runs over to the east as fast as he can, which is pretty damn slow because he's he's gargantuan but he's not very fast and he's like running head first into the crowd and then he stops and then as soon as he stops now the clockwork poison bomb goes and the clockwork poison bomb and its turn it releases a smoky cloud of black finger blight in a 20 foot radius so he will Let's see. Don't stand in the fire. Now there's another one. <laughs> there was a one black uh, cloud, and now there's another one. So there was one where he was, and now there's one where he is. Now you go, Dougie. <laughs> That's his full movement. Yeah. His full movement is... Yeah, he's really Boy, slow. He must be really slow. Well, he's carrying a big machine on his back. Uh, all right, so... What about those ads? That's another thing. Oof. Yeah, I, I see. I don't know if I should go after him or, or try to take out the ads and let you go after the device. I didn't think he'd be that slow. Hmm. I might have to take ads because I'm not going to do any damage against the device. So either I have to try to stop him or I can I can work on ads. Uh, okay, but ads have a way. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll they'll beat up on me because they'll. You can't use your bow once they're on you, right? I could, or I could switch to my cane. I mean, uh, don't don't worry about me particularly. I'm just saying, I can't damage the machine very well because my precision and my mental don't work against it. So I probably won't get through hardness very well. Yeah. So okay. Um. Does haste increase your speed also? No, it just no. gives you an extra action. Okay. Okay, so let me. I got to get my, my measuring device, I guess. Um, is there a way to turn that on? I can't remember if there's a way to actually yes, when it's you the, move, it's, oh, when you when move you, that it does that automatically. No. No, you have to like use it, and then and then you could actually mark that spot if you wanted with like a, the ink. Okay, so 
All right, so I move 60 feet after two actions. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to get over to him. Okay, never mind me. Just uh, someone else in, can go. I've got I've to do uh, get my position. I'm so you're not doing anything. I, well, I can only... I, I, I'm saying, okay, I, that is what I can do. I'm just measuring. Lay it in intercept course. 120 feet. That yeah. is four rounds of movement. That is hilarious. Okay. So- well... That's better than him. He ran 60 feet in three rounds of movement. So it's way better than he can do. Fast these people are not. Okay. Seems like mobility is the only thing we've got on our side in this thing. So what are you doing, right, Doug? That's, that's it. I'm moving. Whoa, okay, look move. at that. He did what he did. He moved forward. Okay, good job. Done. Tundra goes. Tundra of the open plain. Are you keeping track of my haste, or do, 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 do I do that? I do it. Or does the machine do that? Yeah. Tundra moves to intercept Dougie. Their full movement of 75 feet. An exciting combat this is, as everyone is running <laughs> in place. It's a great part. <laughs> it is. Hers. Lomang, you're up. All right. Okay, All so... right. Let's see. Let's see one. someone who's got a lot of speed. Let's see what they can wow. do. Wow. <laughs> I got a lot of preps to do, though. All right. So Lomang uh, enters his stance, like you've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, chicken man. Right, and then and then he starts to he starts to flex and like Goku and you start hearing the thunder and the lightning crackle as he enters his heaven's thunder style. Alright, and then you see him flex even more. And you haven't seen this before. And Suddenly, a brimstone-like smoke appears around him, somewhat what? obscuring him. Yes. What? And, listen. Are you turning <laughs> and, into a demon? Yes. And outside and at, at his of his exposed back starts protruding leathery, diabolical wings oh. out of his back. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. <laughs> and, you and you're like straining, and you see it crackle coming out of his back. It's just manifest, and it looks really freaky. It looks like it looks like leathery demon, or not demon, devil wing. And then the smoke clears. I like it. That. <laughs> and you see that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I think Dougie had a more impressive turn, though. And then he says, let's do some good, and moves. That's excellent. You, you turn into a demon, and then say, let's do some good. Demon. That is awesome. All right. Wow. I'm impressed. What is that? So he's a monk and he's a thief and he's a demon. And he's got wigs and he can fly. Jeez. And, and an officer of the law. <laughs> Basil, that's you right. got some competition. Right, that's, that, so that's 50. So I fly over there. Like I, I don't, I'm not, I'm ho- like flying, hovering above the ground and fly, fly there. Are you further than Dougie over there? No. If I didn't have, if I didn't have haste, I couldn't even go that far. Yeah. That's, that was that's my last action. Actions. Wait, what's the name of that ability? So I can look it up. All right. So that is fiendish wings. It just sounds evil. It's what kind of uh, ability is that? It's divine. It's a, it's part of my tiefling once per day. Transmutation. Yeah. Wow. You gain a fly speed equal to your land speed Yes. and you get it for 10 minutes. So, Yes. You can fly, like wow, that's really good. Cool. Really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, I've yet to use it. Dougie has underwater marauder. I I, I know you, you got rid of feet that. Well you got rid of that a long I time. T- ago. I took it again. <laughs> oh god! Why not blind fight? <laughs> I okay. was considering it. The hill giant goes. The hill giants have eyes. Okay, he's running towards the cloud, but he seems a little hesitant <laughs> he runs over and he seems kind of confused like he doesn't know what the hell's going on but he's running towards Ogvarium. rova goes rova seeing you intercept rova decides also to run yeah i think we're gonna have to mess with the odds grova well ran up too i mean you guys are still far away from each other basil <laughs> basil don't care about distance he's got a long bow was made for this I'm in the second range increment, so I'm going to just go ahead and devise a stratagem on the big guy. What? Okay, here we go. 31. Pretty uh, good. I'll, I'll suss him out. I'll just go ahead and take that shot. Okay. Fire away. And? Wow, look at that. You hit! You hit nice. him or the device? 
I, I'm going for him because yeah. I can't really damage the device because my precision and my... Yeah, it's not enough. Yeah. It doesn't really happen. Okay, so that's uh, 26, and I'm assuming it's not a crit, so I don't get the deadly. So 26 damage. I will damage. tell you, 26! Boom! And you cut dead? right through the precision. Sorry, you cut right through the smoke. Cut him down. He's not dead? even. No, he's dead. <laughs> he apparently scratched him. The day <laughs> is won. He, he literally like victory the arrow, is ours. <laughs> the arrow like goes into his chest. He doesn't even notice it. It's like uh, it's like that guy from Three Hundred that kept getting shot. You're like, it's like he doesn't even care. All right, next, what are you doing? Um, to send another arrow at him. Fly like an eagle. Uh, so that's twenty five, but that's minus. No, four? the minus five. The minus five is built in. So no, 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 for the range increment. Oh, it's only is it minus two or minus four for the range increment? Uh, well, it's per increment. So if he's uh, so it's minus two if he's only one away. So it's a hundred feet. How far away is he from you? I thought it was like one ninety. I thought he was on the edge. Okay, let, then let me just double check. Yeah, one eighty. Oh yeah, that's fine. Not... So so that's twenty seven. And. You hit! Really? Okay, the nice. good news is he's hittable. The good news is his <laughs> armor class good. isn't that great. So that's just 17 since I don't... That's do good. <sighs> okay, so that's 17 more damage. Okay, he doesn't like it. I might as well yeah. just keep going. I mean... Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I think you're done. That was sad. No, the stratagem's a free action. Oh. Because you're cheating. 12's not going to do it, though. That is going to miss. All right, put some points on the board. You're done. Gomez is up. Uh, so elemental motion. I didn't say I did it previously, so I have to do it now. It's two actions. Uh, and I will fly. How? How? What's the radius on the cloud around him? Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Okay. So thirty. So I move at sixty-five, flying. Uh. 30 feet in the air is how far laterally? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I have no idea. Well, actually, for flight rules, every if you're going up, that counts as difficult terrain, so you get half speed going up. Yeah. Let's just make it simple, and I and uh, I cast my spell, and I elevate uh, 30 feet in the air. If I move, move a 65, half of that, 30, I'm 30 feet in the air now. Okay. 30 feet straight nice. up. There you go. We have flying now. We have air superiority. on you. That's how I'm going to learn. That, that's how I'm doing flying, by the way, because otherwise... Yeah, that, and that, that's fair. I'll just stay at this elevation. I mean, you could change, but... I'm flying okay. like a chicken, though. That's Old the Varium. Two things happen. He runs. He's single-minded in his purpose. <laughs> he seems to be running towards the crowd, ignoring you all completely. Oh, we gotta stop this guy. <laughs> He's just running. Not very fast, but he is running. What size is he? Large. Okay. Just one size larger than us. Yes, he's large and in charge. Um, and he's done. Poison cloud goes. Look at that. There's a lot of poison clouds on this, on this map. Mm. Another poison cloud is spewing. Now, the thing is, the poison clouds... They spew like so. There's a, there's three smaller third twenty by twenty clouds on the uh, on the grounds. So they're not moving or getting bigger or anything. But um, wherever he is is where they are. Dougie, you are up. Uh oh, Dougie, I think we gotta get him. Yeah, we might have to. Uh, he's just running to the crowd. It's bad. Yeah, we gotta change tactics. Okay, so. Well, he, it looks like he'll tree. get tree. I like that like launch him. Launch he's him up gonna in the be tree. Yeah. getting to the crowd in about like three turns. It looks like before he gets. <gasps> okay, I can get there. Wait, now. wait. All right, That's wait. One movement. <laughs> you move towards him. Attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Claws you. Does a thirty-eight hit you? Really? Yes, thirty-eight. Uh, he doesn't crit me. That's all. That's a good thing. Okay, yes, it hits. <laughs> Very close to critting me. I know, he missed you by one Jeez. attack. 24 points of damage. You may continue. He, he attacked of opportunity to you? Yes. Yeah, 24. All right, so, uh... Hmm. 
What what are these smaller guys? What are they exactly? Uh, lizard men, right? They were like the same. They're, they're, they're regular lizard men. They're regular. Yeah, like yeah. They were the ones guys that were you fought before. a ton of these guys in the catacombs. Oh, this okay. is lizard man Bane. People of Absalom, this city is yours. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, it is. He's kind of doing the whole Bane thing right now. Except he's killing everyone. Bane killed a lot of Actually, people. Actually, Bane did that too. Now I think about it. Actually, And then Bane tried to blow them all. Yeah, he is Bane. He's Bane. Especially if he's going for the luxury boxes and he's going for the rich people. And not only that, he is He is in the football stadium. He's freaking Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make the hill giant Hyde's ward then? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, man... Are we going for the device or for him? Man, I'm thinking I want to go for him at this point. Yeah, if we can hit him, then we want to go for him. So yeah. I, I'm going to do a mangosh to him. This is a uh, uh, double slice, starting with the mangosh. Let's see how it goes. <sighs> 21. All right, I roll a two. And uh, now for the rapier. 30. A lot better. Four. Guess what? It's a hit. That's a crit. Really? A crit? Crit on a 34. A oh. Crit on a 34. Okay, so. Except. Oh, God. Wait, let's double check concealment rules. You can seal from a creature such as you're difficult to see, still be observed target to target. Okay, so it's a DC 5 flat check when you're trying to attack. So you got to roll a d20, and if you roll a five or higher, you hit him. I actually need to do that for you, too. Yeah, so I'm going to roll sense. a two. Okay, we both succeed, so I hit you, but you hit him. So you do, let's see, 12 plus 15 plus 1 times 2. So what is that? What's 16? That's 16 plus 56, 12. I believe. What? Did you just do 56 points of damage? It's 28 to 28 times 2? Is that yeah. that's 56? Is the deadly doubled or is the deadly the crit effect? In which case, uh, deadly's not doubled. Okay, so it's 55. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, it's I cannot. It's not a debilitating strike, which is a core. Rogue uh, feature I've never been able to use because uh, no but one's ever flat-footed. He's flat-footed. Is he's he? Flat. Yes. You made him flat-footed, yeah. Because you have the ability on the... When on you the crit weapon. him... Oh, no, 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 no. And he had to be flat-footed, so it doesn't get him. Oh, shit. I forgot to share my stratagem with you. Whoopsie. All right. Well, I'll do it next time. Oh, God. But in fairness, I didn't think of it because you weren't anywhere near melee range, so I did... But sorry about that. Um... That's all right. Hopefully I can show up and we'll get... Uh, all right. Well, I do have one more action since I've, did, uh, I've done a movement. Movement and two attacks. What do you got left? Yeah, I got one more attack. Oh, I know what he's got left. It's called a fortitude saving throw. 25. You hit. Wow. Uh, damn. Of damage. Uh, yeah, this fight got a little less terrifying if we could hit him on... Well, numbers that low. See, we can't see his health, though. <laughs> that, well, I know, but I, I mean, I don't know how much damage we're doing or if he has resistance or regeneration or anything like that. But yeah, but my point is, is Roll that a d20 to see if you hit him because this... he has concealment. I remember that. You okay. hit. Yes. You are done. But this isn't like the last fight where we couldn't even hit him. Do I hurt. have a um, saving throw that I have are to you, make? Are you saying if he can bleed, nope. he can die? Okay. Not yet. If he can bleed, he can die. That's right. I think I may have said, said that. In comes Tundra. The Tundra. Flanking you. Brave, brave Sir Robin. So when when do we have to make saving throws, by the way? You're going to find out. <laughs> and then he's got his scimitar, his jaws, his tail, and javelins. But you know what? He's going to use the scimitar on Dougie. 30. That that. Wait, does that hit? What's your AC? Oh, oh that, that hits. hits. 5% missed, yes. Of course. 5, not 5%, 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 25%. No, it's 5 or higher. 5, 16. Oh. He hits 19 points of damage. Okay. Lomang, you are up. All right, time to get into this fight, I think. All right, so flanking. That's flanking, right? Nope. 
that. Yeah, that's, that's flanking. flanking. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, and that takes two moves for me to get there. Um, and I think I could even work it with my mobility that he wouldn't be able to get attack of opportunity, but he probably already used He's it. He's already used it. Yeah. All right, so that's two moves. Uh, let's let's do a flurry on him. Let's let's do it. Let's see how this goes. Oh, plus, oh it's plus two cream. Wing. Oh, I see it's changed. Ah, nice. <laughs> you Flanking. Still, Flanking. You rolled a two. Yeah, you rolled pretty bad. A two. However, and believe it or not, you hit because that is how easy this guy is to hit. Wow. I don't know how you did that. Twenty percent miss chance. Ooh, okay. And you rolled a twenty-four. You could only miss on a on one. A one. But you still manage when, to when hit. I'm flanking. Um, when you're right, flanking, so, so that's 16 plus 18, so that's uh, th- 33. 34. Well, plus sneak attack. That, that that includes it, right? So it's no, no. Oh, yeah, you're, yeah. 16, oh, yeah, 16 plus, 18. plus 18. Yeah. Yeah. So, 34. All right. 34. Second, yeah. Second attack. Okay. Doesn't like that. That's a well, hit. Well, guess what? You rolled a five. Oh, but you got flanking. Flanking. 25. <laughs> you managed. Nice. To hit. Barely. 29 damage. Oh, man. And that's, so far, that's three actions, and I'm hasted. I use my fourth action. Let's go again. No, you just... Oh, right, right, right. Well, it's you it's used, it's Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two to get there. Yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here we go again. Okay, now you missed. He rolls another five. <laughs> I mean, if I rolled anything decent, that third attack would have hit. You rolled a two, a five, and a five. Jeez, man. Two of them were hits. That's sick. Yeah, that's good. Thank goodness. It's, it's the hand wraps. Like, if I didn't have those, I would have missed. Okay. Get in there. The giant is very confused. <laughs> so they they run up to, like, the edge of the cloud because they don't know what's going on. And he just attacks Tundra. He's not affected by... Uh... Oh, he's outside of the He's cloud. outside the cloud. No, not the cloud, reach. but I'm talking um, uh, Concealment? Gomez's uh, instructions. There was no Gomez instructions. I, yeah, was... no, I, I didn't I No, didn't no, no. Oh, he hasn't got it yet. He was talking he's about doing it. it, but he didn't do yeah, it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? He's just going to attack Dougie and Tundra, because why not? So he takes his great club and does a wide swing, and he just does one attack. Here we go. Sweeping strike or something. So he's attacking me? He doesn't know what's going on. He's like fighting everyone. 34. All right. He does a big old swing. He hits Tundra, the lizard man, and Dougie with one big ass swing. Roll a d20 for each one. First, he's going to roll for Tundra. He makes it, and then he does one for Dougie. It's twenty three damage. Twenty three points of damage. Right. Now, if he if he's mo- both of you. like ten feet away in, from the cloud, is it is it does the percentage go up for the miss? No, it's five. It's it's a, it, everything's flat. It's a flat. There's no such things as things going up and stuff. <laughs> no, no, 20%. because I mean, I, I know that if you're right next to the target. No, no, you still get it even next to him. It's twenty percent. I was wrong on that. It's twenty percent no matter what, even if you're next to people. Oh, you're supposed to roll through your. Well, you rolled your percentage, did you? Or did you not? I did. Okay. Yeah, no, even if you're right next to them. It's always... Uh, that actually is a mistake. I was, I, I, I was incorrect. I looked it up. Uh, he's done. So Brave Bush Buck Snuck ran up and just did this wild swing and hit both of you guys. Actually, well, man, you only rolled once. I think you have to roll again. Oh, yeah, did I only roll once? Yeah, roll oh, again. Right, right. This is for the second tack. Oh, good. Confirmed. Rova runs up, but that's his entire turn. Dougie, you're surrounded. What a surprise. Uh, Basil, you're up. All right. First action, I'm actually going to move up. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just measure the distance. I think that's 40 feet. Okay. Which puts me just inside the range increment. Okay. I'm going to devise a stratagem. Okay. 26, you're all the six. Um, well, it's probably... I mean, I think we're getting to the point of that's a hit, but not a crit. So I'm going to actually use my Eldritch abi- Archer ability and load it up with some mental damage as well. So I'm going to do that. The, it's uh, Enchanted Arrow, I think it's called. Okay. 
So I'd get the 12, the 11, and the 5 for the mental. So 12 and 11 is 23. 28 damage. Okay. And as a free action, I'll say, Giant, we are with the Edge Watch. You need to stop the Lizard Men. Okay. What else you got? I think that's three That's three actions because the shot takes two actions if I apply mental damage. Gomez, you are up and flying up in the air with the greatest of ease. All right, I'll do. I'll, I'll close in. Let's move. Uh, let's see. Where am I going to move? Oh my god! So let's see. Sixty-five. I can go one hundred thirty feet. Somewhere within one hundred thirty feet. Let's see how far that is. All right. That's that's kind of that's kind of anywhere I want to be. All right. So let's move. Let's take uh, two actions. I'll go round about here, which is uh, north. Yes, yeah, north and uh, kind of between where our target is in the stands, kind of in the middle. And uh, so that's two actions. Last action, I make a request of the giant. Uh, or maybe even intimidate the giant, because I'm telling the giant uh, that poison will kill everyone, destroy the thing on its back, or we'll all die, and uh, try to convince him to do so. So what is that, like a diplomacy? What is that? Well, if you're intimidating him. Yeah, um, like like is it intimidation or is it you know because I because I'm like the I'm saying that gas is threatening his life, but it's weird because I'm making a request. So I don't know. What do you think? I'll roll whatever you want. Um, you do diplomacy. I think it's the same same roll, really, is it? Yeah, you can do diplomacy. All right. Boop. That's terrible. Critical failure. Okay, I, I'll, I'll hero point that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it, it offends me to roll a one. It offends me. Some Especially people use on, my, hero- on my on my signature ability, for God's sakes. Right, that's, that's Some not people much use better. their a little bit their, better their road rolls on combat. Gomez diplomacy checks. Well, it's clear that this guy is the the this guy we need on our side. We need to have him. And okay, also, it just offends me. It offends me. It's like it's it like, the, like convincing I'm people offended. to do what I want is like my signature. Ability. Yeah, I can't then, tolerate rolls. I, I think that. that's a smart Agreed. move. Okay, here we go. Ugvarium. The Merciless. I just wrote, realized I wrote Ugvarium the Merciless. Ugvarium the Merciless! Whatever that is. All right. You got his attention. He's pissed at all of you. I don't know if that was a smart thing, but we're going to find out. Did you want to get his attention? Well, you yeah, got really. his attention. First, he's going to... Who wants to get clawed? Dougie Not or Lomang? Well, who wants to die? Claw doggy. Claw who wants doggy. to die? Claw okay. doggy. Doggy wants yeah, to die. Yeah. Doggy Claw doggy, die. yeah. He wants to re-roll and make a new character. Damn! Oh, my God! What's a uh, double crit? That's 51 a... on the die. That's 50... a double crit. Oh, my God. Shit. <laughs> I didn't even think I I remember I remember the day we started to roll a 40. Congratulations. This is the first time I've ever hit 50. 51. It says 49. It's insane. Plus it's 2 for uh, flanking. So you can only miss on a 1 also. <laughs> now here's the funny thing. He gets concealment. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, miss, you get miss, lucky miss. here. Yeah. A 1 2 3 or 4. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Rolls a six. Oh, okay. Uh, Dougie takes 20, sorry, 48 points of damage. All right. Well, Dougie, you were a fun character. Be ordering some new art in a second. Um, He's going to make a crossbowman. Wait, you're character. down to 37 hit points? Yeah. How'd you get, you only get hit. Oh, that's right. You get hit multiple times. Okay. And now he's going to strike you again with his claws. Here we go. All right. 36. What do you mean 36? Oh, you hit on 36. All right. 29 damage. Okay. All right. 29 points of damage. Okay. And now he has the rend ability. Do you know what the rend ability does? If he hits you twice good. with claws, he automatically does damage to you again because he tears out your flesh. Oh. So, 18 points of rend damage. All right, I'm down. That's just automatic. Do you have your, your touching buff on you right now, Komas? I do not. It got used up in the last fight. Oof. Okay. Believe, didn't it? Yeah, it you did. definitely used it. it. I don't know if you recast it again. 
And then he spends one action no. to regenerate. Okay, here comes. Does it the look like he regenerated? Cloud. Does it look like he regenerated a lot? I don't know. It's a little hard to see. Poison cloud goes. My my advice, uh, if you can't trip him and slow his movement, absolutely go for the backpack and a shield. Yeah, early. I'm weighing the options because yeah, uh, I, like I, I kind of see the writing on the wall, and th this seems to be a test of can we disable that device before he reaches the stands, and it kind of doesn't really have much to do with him. True, personally. but man, well, I mean, here's what happens: the cloud grows twenty feet, so it is now well. It's now 40 by 40 instead of 20 by 20. Uh, Lomang, give me a fort save. Ah, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. 38. Path to perfection. Eternal control technique. You're fine. <laughs> Completely fine. That's a critical success. Dougie, give me a fort save. Oh, no. Uh, are there minuses because I'm down? Nope. No, but okay. you do get the plus four for drinking. You the do thing. get the plus four. Nice. That's 30. A, oh, actually, you were 42, believe it or not, low man. 36. I, I don't. I have not drank my potion. Oh, no, you didn't drink it in. No, no. You are fine, Dougie. You are fine. <laughs> For being dead. For being dead, you're fine. Uh, actually, Dougie, you move to in front of him, by the way. Um, Poison Cloud, now the the hill giant goes. Oh, no, poor hill Tundra giant. goes, no? No, he has to roll his... Oh, save because he's in the poison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, 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 no. Sorry, you don't do it then. You do it. Oh, sorry. Actually, I messed up. But we're gonna keep track of that. Tundra's up. Okay, Tundra. Uh, Tundra. What the hell does Tundra do? Tundra does not like this hill giant in his biz, so he is gonna take a step. And then attack him with his scimitar. Fight! 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 <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. That's going to provoke him. So he's drawing aggro, I hope. Uh, and he manages to hit him. So Tundra the Lizardman hits Brave Hill Giant for 17 points of damage. And then he attacks him again. Fight! Fight! Oh, he misses. Rolls a three in concealment. And he is done. Lomang! All right. mistake. You actually would have rolled... At the beginning of my turn? At the beginning of your turn, if you're in the cloud. Okay. So, but I'm keeping your roll, so you're fine. And Doug, you're right. at the same. My internal control technique worked? Correct. Yes. I, I am going to... I feel like I could do such a tremendous amount of damage with crit potential that I, ha I have to... I'm going to try and hit him for now, and then I'll do something wacky at the end. So, all right. So, for the first attack is the regular... Uh, crane wing attacks. Let's do it on him. Oh my god. <laughs> you rolled a two. Alright, hero point. You wait, you rolled a wait. Wait. I mean, does I it rolled hit? a two. You hit. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. You rolled right. a you rolled he a two. He doesn't get flanking. He doesn't get I don't flanking. get flanking, so I just You might you no, might honestly you got it. it. All you need is twenty four. Because you oh, had the plus two. If but, you didn't have that you, plus have... two well, why do I have? Missed. Why do I get the plus? Wait, two? wait, guys! If 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 it's so low to hit, what do you have to roll to crit? Thirty-four, probably a thirty-four. Which is, which is, yeah. I, I've been rolling. Which is on the I die. nothing above a six. Like I mean, I, like unless I'm, it's I mean, no, but on the on the die, what do you have to roll? To well, roll, depends. Like, I have to roll like I have to roll for like low mag. It's 12. about a twelve. A rational so twelve. Because I'm wondering if you do want a hero point and fish for a crit. Oh yeah, that's a thing. But I think I feel like I'm gonna need him to like. I mean, I could. I, I should you be just critting anyway. Dougie for like <laughs> seventy points in one round. So yeah, I may need it for to not die. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's but, true. I mean, well, keep in mind you goes. use up all your hero points when you not die, so you can use one for free and then keep one for not dying because you can't use it twice. But let's see how this goes. Um, first of all, why do I get the plus two? Because you have plus two greater striking. In well, other no, words, my, my, were... my, but my attack, I rolled a No, 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 you don't get plus two. Hit. No, 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 I get it, but you have a plus two on your die now because you had the gloves. If you had your old gloves, oh, right, right, right. you would have okay. had a 23 so, and you would have So missed. a 24 hits. Yes. That's what you're saying. Okay, yes. good. All right, all right. All right, so second attack. Well, first see if you hit, because they have to roll oh, the right, concealment. Right, 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 okay. And then let's do the damage. Each one's done. Nine, okay, so that will be... All right, so that's 22, 22. damage. Yep, 
Let's do it again. I should be able to crit, for Christ's sake. I mean, really, I just need, like, a 16 natural. Yeah, but that will never, ever happen for you. Ever. I know. Never. Not in a million years. Yep. That's a yeah, hit. Yeah, but you roll, you roll an 8, and guess what? It's a hit. A hit, wow. a hit is a hit. So that's 22. Give me a, you gotta roll the flat check. Shit. Every time. Really? Even with Flurry? Since it's a... Yeah, because they're all separate attacks. Barely. All okay. right, so Just that's listen. one action. Second action. Let's keep going. Attack. Ugh. All right, well, 22 is going to miss. I mean, you rolled an 8. You rolled a 2, a 2, a 6, an 8, and an 8. Okay, let's see. All right, I, think, better, I, I think there's a 10 in there somewhere. All right, so I'm using my, my haste extra bonus action yes. for an attack. Let's okay. do that. I have one action left after that. Okay. That's a hit. <laughs> Nice. I can't hit. believe it. A freaking 24. Okay, roll a flat check. Okay. So far, so good. And you roll the 16. You hit. All right. Those are high. Your flat checks are good. All right. So my final action, since I, I have the tree, I'm going to put... points of damage. I'm going to put the tree under... I'm going to plant the tree in the ground right underneath him. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'll say you spend your one action, and he gets an attack of opportunity because that is an interact, so he gets to attack you for free. So he will claw you. 31. Wait, I could use my crane flutter. How? But I, I, well, the crane, that's the, I, I have that reaction where if they attack me, I can right, better but attack. But no, I didn't, I didn't do it. I know you did. Um, and that, that he hits. needs a 20% mischance, so you might miss it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you. 21 points of damage, but there is now a tree in Brooklyn. Okay, brave. What? Does brave. that does that does that do anything? Like, does it launch him or anything? Or is it? No, no. You have to enter it. It's one action to bury it, and then you have to spend one action to make it a, a go. Oh, so you have to do that shit. Next okay, turn. I miscalculated. Yes, you did. Uh he goes the brave, brave hell giant. First thing he has to do is the fort save. Oh, 27. You're going to get to see what happens when you fail the save. He melts. <laughs> uh, it ain't good. Is that poisoned? Yep. All right. Round one. All right. It's a mere 24 points of damage. Second action. Is he's like, what? He did not like that. He's like, what is this crap? And he is going to just use his great club against Tundra. Rolls a 27. That should hit him. Do a, do a mischance. Rolls a 12. He hits Tundra for 16 points of damage. Boom! Then he's going to do another attack because he hates him. 26. That should... No, that misses. And then he runs out of the cloud because he's like, I ain't dealing with this crap. But then Tundra gets an attack of opportunity on the hill giant. And the 28 might hit the hill giant. Let's do a blind check. And he hits the hill giant for 16 points of damage. Don't run. Come back, you coward. Dude, he's, he's puking his guts out. Uh, you know what? He's got Brave right in his name. Uh, yeah, he's got to get in there. Rova. I think, it, I think it's, that's an ironic name. Rova is up. It's like tiny. Hey, Lomang, are you flanked? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, okay. I have, uh, I'm a thief. Uh, there's 35 that hits. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> Just checking. Although he might miss. Got concealment. Oh, no, he does not miss. 15 points of damage with the scimitar. And the second attack. Oh, 21 misses. Basil's up. All right. Shit, I need help. <laughs> Why? Because you're flanked by... I'm flanked. Yep. All right. It's a uh, devise a stratagem against the big guy. Mm-hmm. Can you give, you can give me flanking or something. Like, that was a thing, right? Ooh, 30 is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the shot. So that's uh, 18 points of damage. You take another shot. Okay. 23. Seems like that misses. That will miss. And... Um, 
I guess I'll just take one more shot, just in case. One more shot. Oh, a hit. 27. Nice. That's uh, yeah. 21 damage. Or no, I don't get the... I only get the 8. So. 8 points of damage. Gomez is up. Oh, I... I ha- uh. Dougie's down. He needs to get back in this. No, Dougie's down. I'll forget Dougie. For da- I'm gone. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah, forget, because no, don't even bother. Because for the uh, uh, for for the for the joke, I absolutely have to do this. That tree needs watering, and I do hydraulic uh, torrent on the device. I uh, use my ability to extend a spell, so I extend the range from sixty feet to ninety feet, which puts it in range. Hydraulic t- a torrent attacking the thing. Wow. Okay. So, straight line, you're trying to hit, and I manifest in a straight line, battering those along its path and possibly pushing them away. Yeah, so, well, it's it's everything in the range, so it actually it would hit him and the thing on his back, honestly. Because it's, it's like an area effect thing. It's just like, it's just like, it's like a lightning stuff bolt. was in a line. Yeah. This is the fourth level version. Oh, it is an area effect, so there is no line of sight needed. So you can do it. You're like, well, close enough. <laughs> and you try yep. to hit him. So good job. Let's see. DC, and the tree gets water. Uh, the fortitude saving throw of Ugvarium is 30. He makes it. And you don't know when it is for the thingamajig on his back. But we're going to find out in a sec. And it's a fort saving throw. The thing on his back rolled a 41. So we get zero damage. That's horrible. Well, it's 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 a clockwork contraption. It's probably pretty strong. I need I need to next time I roll a character, I need to make an octopoid character and be permanently hasted because I need more hands and I need more actions. That's all I know. I need more hands and more actions. Yeah, it's always it's always the case. The economy of uh, actions is. Uh, so fortitude saves if you fail. Well, the good news is it still does six. Uh, 13 points of damage to Ogvarium. So he takes he takes some damage, but the thing on his back takes no damage. And the tree is watered. And the tree is watered. So what else is up? That, that's all my actions. That's okay. Three actions right you there. are done. Dougie, you made your save. You are dying. You can give me a check to see if you uh, stabilize. That's a fort check? No, it's just a 1d20. Alright. Roll high. There we are. Nine will not do it. Oh, so you are not dying to now. So wait, when is death? Four. I might as well use a hero point now. I mean... Okay, you can. Yeah, I'm going to do that again. Okay. Well, can, it, can oh, oh, is this isn't actually... Can I use it now? Because yes. this isn't a skills check. Anything. Any D20 oh. you could use it on. Oh, okay. Anything. Can't use it to, like, not die? That's what you... Oh, cr- a critical or. failure. Okay, so now I'm at death two. Now you're at death three. Or... Wait, wait. I thought you could use a hero point to to not have to do that anymore. Rolls. Well, no. The next time he dies, he can spend all of his hero points to... There's two things that are going on. When you're dying, you do a stabilization check. And that's just like... I forget. It's like a D10 or D... It's, it's like you have to get a DC 10 plus the dying. So it's like a, you have to get a DC like 10, 11, 12, and then you stabilize. However... During stabilization, if you roll the one, you actually go down to dying two. So he rolled worse. Then, when he's about to hit dying four, he can spend all of his a- a hero points and not die, and then he's stable. So that's oh, okay. What, that's what you can do. Um, okay, you're done. Okay. Ogvarium the Marcellus. Is he attacking me? I need well, to know first that first. he's going to do is heal a little. Whoops! I, I healed him way too much. Oh, I should make. Now you know he's healing. I'll give you the sound. And he is he 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 is pissed. You're in his way. You know what he's gonna do? Is he attacking me? I need to know before he does. Nah, he's ignoring you. He's like, ah, puny human. He's running away. <laughs> okay, <laughs> called police. He ran to the north. I have a lawyer for that. Okay, you can only do one move increment. Yeah, that's how far is that? I'm. He moved sixty. Yeah. But you can move up to him. So you follow him? Yes. Oh, God. Okay. You follow him. That, then that does not provoke. Not at yet. all. Yeah. Shit, there goes the tree plan. 
Dun, 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 yeah, dun. yeah, that's done. I think you gotta just try and trip him. Yeah. Or oh, or I, or just, I or, didn't even know about the trip. Or, or just or just lay into that backpack. It's it's pretty clear he's a juggernaut, and it's about disabling that device. Tundra is up. Tundra. Yeah, he sticks with his buddy. Tundra runs up to you, Lomang, and attacks oh, you with the scimitar. Oh, I use my uh, flurry. My... Good job. Use your flurry. Thirty. Thirty-eight. The thirty-eight. Well, always give me like a little bit of a. Head I will. Up. I'm sorry. Thirty-eight. Okay, that hits. Unless it doesn't, I roll a four. Oh, nice. God, I mean, let's lock. Lomang, it. you're up. I'm not up. Yeah, you are. That was. Oh, it. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Those two actions. I moved, I moved on his turn. Yeah. There's a lot of movement in this battle, so there's not a lot of fighting going on yet. Uh, the Marcellus does not look good. All right, you know what? He panicked too. He's running away. He's running towards the crack. He's like, oh, I'm like, come get back in! <sighs> it's gonna kill us all. All right, uh, I am going to, for my first attack, I'm gonna try and trip him. All right, that's a completely different roll. You know that? So. Yes, it's an it's an athletics roll, right? Correct. All right, let's try it. Okay. That's okay. a pretty big number. Okay, you roll a 38 against his reflex. Let's see, what's his reflex? Um, 38's a pretty... Wow, you rolled a 38. That's a pretty good roll. And what the hell did you good. roll? A I rolled 15? 15. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got good news for you. Down goes Frazier. Yes, slowed him down. <laughs> he, he trips. He's on the ground. Excellent. Good chunk. <laughs> All right, and now that his back is exposed to me, I'm going to smash that device. Okay. So let's do that. So uh, crane wing, this is second attack. Okay. Yes, it so is. So it'll be a second attack. and a third attack. Mm-hmm. Well, you roll a 23. Uh, 23 push. against the device is a miss. Ah, shit. All right, let's try again. Uh, you roll a 22 God, fuck, against Jesus. the device. <laughs> that's a miss. So that's two actions. I got more. I can do it two more times. Well, you would have hit him both times, by the way. Just I saying. Know. I know. Jeez. <laughs> Just yeah, saying. It's like getting a plus because of the proneness, right? You Everything. You got a plus two. I right, flat-footed, yeah. Yeah. And you also because of the vice, but guess what? You, you're not even getting close. Like, you almost critically missed. How about that? Against the device? Yes. Yeah, yeah, miss. 29. That's a miss? Yeah. It's very Go hard miss. to hit. You He's were not easy to hit. The Gomez, you're really not trained in tactics. <laughs> Maybe you should be. Yeah, it's, it's, you would have hit a, him all three times by I now. Know. I'm seeing the design here, and it's pretty clever. It's like you could hit him, and he has a million hit points that regenerates. So you, so you could deal damage to him, but can you deal enough, fast enough? Or you could go after the device. And you would have killed him. You would have done 100 points of damage. That would have been 100 damage, yeah. That's, 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 that's an issue. And you missed every time. All right, would that have killed him, though? That's yeah, the thing. Probably. It would, who knew it was? But, uh, yeah, well, too late now. You're done. Too late now, but... Brave Buckshunk. Uh, Brave Buckshunk. At least I slowed him down. He's in yeah. trouble. He's got to do his fort save. Oh, boy. He fails his fort save. That ain't good. Now he takes more damage. <laughs> and the har- horrible thing Ooh. is I think I have to heal Dougie or else he'll, he'll literally die. No, don't, don't do yeah, that. 30, don't, do that. Don't, listen, don't listen. I'm don't stabilizing. Listen, don't we need him it. in the fight. We need him. All right. Brave Bunk Shunk is, he just took 33 points of poison damage. And he is going to take a rock and throw it at Olgvarium with his rock. <laughs> hey, look at that. Does he hit him? Yes. Yep. Goes past concealment. And he hits the man with the plan for 21 points of damage. Bonk. He hits him on the head. Bonk. I am hit on the head. Is this gas still here? Yes. So I haven't been rolling any saves, by the way. It's on the beginning of your turn when you're in the gas. And low. you did. I made you roll that other save. It's the beginning of your turn. So you've only been in the gas for one turn. And Lomang ran into the gas. So as long as you go out of the gas and don't start your turn in the gas, you're okay. Uh, Actually, you did. I Wait, haven't Lomang, been... you did start your turn in the gas. Oh, no, you ran to the gas, so you're fine. Yeah, I ran to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and okay. Brave is, he pulls out another rock. He's done. Rova. Rova runs up to Lomang. Hold, please. Yeah, I'm just saying I only rolled one time for the yeah, gas. Yeah, you only had to roll one because this is we're only in round four. 
All right, I'm <laughs> using my crane flutter on this okay. attack. Okay, he's going to attack you with his scimitar. 24 misses. That's a miss, and here's my counter track. And minus two. Okay. There we go. Is that a crit? 31. 31. Not a crit, but you got to roll the 5% miss chance to see oh, if you... Shit. Sorry, this 20% is... miss chance to see Look at that win. damage, too. I know, we'll see. Here we go. Here we go. Are you going to hit? Are you going to hit? Are you going to hit? That's a lot of damage. And you roll. Oh, yep. you hit. All right, so ten, uh, 31. 31 damage. Yep. Crunch. And he's done. Basil, you're up. All right, I'm going to move up to next to uh, Gomez because that puts me back in the first increment. Yep. I'm going to devise a stratagem against the big guy. Yep. Yep. 30. Ah. Uh, and he's prone, don't forget. I'm going to load my arrow. I'm going to do the uh, enchanting arrow and load it up with mental damage as well. Okay. You hit. All right, so it's 15. I get the 15 and 8 and the 7, so that's 30 points of damage. Okay. 30 points. Um, I guess I'll take one more shot. Ogavarium is, is wincing. Did you roll a 34? I did roll a 34. That is a crit, my friend. Oh, so I get the 18 damage and doubled is 36. I also doubled eights. I rolled double eights on the damage. So 36 damage and then yeah. two deadly is 38. And he stunned one. So how much the stun is that? Was, I'm sorry, the stun is for the mental damage. I didn't get that. Oh, so how much is the total? 38. Oh, that's surprising. Yes! Uh, and as a free action, I'll once again yell out, Giant, we need to stop the device on his backpack. We ha we have, on his back, we have medicine for the poison. So the good news... That's highly surprising. ...is you killed him. Like killed him, or is he like knocked, knocked out, he, regenerating? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, well, we'll find out. Uh, the bad news is the device is still going, so <laughs> you're, you're not out of the woods yet. Not even close. And like, he's got his two little henchmen here. That and he's got, got henchmen. Go. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah. they might give up if they see their, their boss get whacked, but who we'll knows? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think you're done, right? I am done. Gomez is up. Uh, attempt to save Dougie, fight the minions, or something else. What do you guys think? Save Dougie. No, no, don't save Dougie. It's a waste. I, I <laughs> stabilize by myself. It's It's... Yeah, okay. but you're unconscious. We need you in the fight. Yeah, yeah. I always stabilize myself. All right. Stabilize means you're just not dying, right? You're still unconscious, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why Dougie doesn't want me to heal him. Dougie's He's unconscious. He doesn't, he doesn't get a chance. Technically he doesn't get a vote. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Technically, oh, you, okay, get a vote. Right. you do whatever well, you want. In that, in Dougie that gives up some often when things are not going his way. I see. Okay, hold on a second. Let me let me. I have to do a little bit of math on uh, uh, distances then. The good news is it'll take a while for the cloud to reach the crowd. Bad news is we got to go into the cloud to fix to damage the device, and we still got the ads. Yeah, the ads are the problem. Like I'm not really afraid of the cloud. That's true. You got all sorts of bonuses to save against it, so you're. I do, and I still have the potion that can like that I'm holding that it can cure it if I do get it. All right, so here's a question. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to try. Uh, I move at 65. So if I go... If I go here... Where is here? There. Uh, can I still hover above the cloud, like at the edge of the cloud, and be within 30 feet of Dougie with uh, applying geometry? You can go there. All right, good. That that I do that. That's thirty. Yeah, feet away I mean, you can Dougie. be. Yeah, yeah. You're close enough, but you have to be a little bit more towards the edge of the cloud. All right, like that's fine. a forty foot cloud, but that's okay. Happy about that. All right, so as long as I as long as I'm with the rage of Dougie. All right, so let's heal him up. Okay. What's the best heal I got? I got a fourth. I got a fourth level heal off. You got of scrolls stuff. and crap. Yeah, but that's another action to pull one of those out. That's why I was saying I need to be an octopus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll use my last fourth level slot. And then, and, and then literally, as far as spells goes, I'm down to second level and lower. I have no other spells. Scrolls. <laughs> well, the bad guy is down, the big bad. So, Which I'm very surprised about. After that whole buildup about the dramatic encounter thing, I'm very surprised about that. It's not done yet. 
What am I? I am a fourth level heal. Where's my fourth level heal? Do, 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 do. Where is it? Oh my god, I'm trying. Okay, there it is. So that's it. Whatever. That was a terrible roll. It was. Well, what do you expect? This is this. It's it's the luck today. And so what? So, what is it? Um, Thirty. Third. What is it? No, it's uh, forty. So it's nineteen plus. Um, plus two for the staff. Oh, you're right. So, so twenty one plus eight per level. So, twenty four plus twenty one. So what's that? Forty uh, five. Yeah. Forty five healing on Dougie. Dougie. Dougie, you're back in the game. Woo is it from zero? Yeah, so I gave it to you. You're 45, and you are at Wounded 1. Oh, the poison is still an issue, but whatever. So you're Wounded 1. Are you done, Gomez? That's all my actions. I'm done whether I want to be or not. All right, Dougie. Good news, you wake up. Bad news, you're on the ground, and everything is on the ground with you, including all your weapons and stuff. The bad news... That's badder than the first bad news is you got to give me a fort save because you're in the poison cloud. What do you do? You make a fort save. Give me the save. 24. That is not a Eight good plus save. Plus four. 28. That is not a good save. You have another hero point and it's the end of the night. Do you want to use it? You're literally the last thing we're going to do. Nice. 38. You are not poisoned. <laughs> awesome. You got. Four actions. What do you do? I will pick up my weapons. Well, you only have one, so that's one action to pick up a weapon. Or no, two actions. I have two actions. Two, have... two weapons, so okay. two actions to pick up your weapons. You All right. A uh, third action to stand. Okay. And a fourth action to move to the giant. To the giant or to the lizard people? The giant's attacking us, isn't he? No, he's not. No. Is he? Yeah, he was unconscious. Doug, you don't know anything. Yeah. Do whatever you want, Doug. I can't reach anything, so I'm just getting out of the cloud. So that's that's my third action. I'll, I'll, go. Go, I'll split the difference. There you go. You're out of the cloud. And Ogvarium the Marcellus. Is he down? Is he dead? Is he unconscious? Is he going to regenerate? Find out next week on Roll for Combat. Star Watch edition. <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to Roll for Combat, Agents of Edgewatch. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at rollforcombat.com. You can also find us and play various games on our Discord channel at discord.rollforcombat.com.